I'm Dr. Asai here with a new sonography discussion on cervical length in pregnancy. Don't forget to subscribe for every Monday new sonography discussion. In this video, we will first discuss normal cervical length in pregnancy and how to measure it. And at the end, we will review a twin pregnancy with short cervical length and funneling. In transvaginal sonography of 18 weeks fetus, we can see the head of the fetus, amniotic fluid, and the blue line shows cervical length. We measure cervical length from internal os at this point to external os at this point. As we can see, the cervix is intact with no funneling. Normally, the cervical length should be more than 30 millimeters in 18 weeks fetus, which is now in this fetus about 34 millimeters. Shortening of cervical length may be accompanied by preterm delivery. Here is our case of 18 weeks twin pregnancy. We can again see the head of the fetus and omnitic fluid. In reviewing the cervix, we can see the V-shape funneling of the endocervical canal. The rest of intact and the cervical canal is called functional cervical length. We can measure funneling of the cervix and what is important is its length, which is 15 millimeters in this patient. The shape of the funneling is also important as U-shape funneling has more risk of preterm delivery. Here we can see the functional cervical length and if we measure it, it's about 23 millimeters. And as we explained before, it is less than 30 millimeters and this shortening of cervical length may result in preterm delivery. So in order to review, two notes are important in funneling of cervix. First, the shape of the funneling can be U-shape or V-shape, which U-shape has more risk of preterm delivery. The second is the length of the funneling and its ratio to functional cervical length and by increasing the ratio the risk also increases if the video was helpful please like it and if you have any question be free to ask it in comments